The 80s was the decade when I was an international lover, major international player, renowned for my love making. Uh, you know, because because it wasn't easy to get love back then. There was still the old overhang. Women had to worry about sleeping with you too quickly. They didn't want to get known as the local spunk dustbin. And, uh, <laughs> So consequently, you had to sort of win them over. You had to woo a woman, you know, you had to treat her right. So, uh, traditionally, men went out on the Friday night on the pool. That's what we used to do. We'd go out, you put on a nice splash of Pacaraban. <laughs> Iron your shirt, polish your shoes. You went out on the pool, you go, I'm like, let's sort this out. And, you, and you'd walk up to women, all right, babe, do you want to tear me here? No, here I am. <laughs> Go back to you, mate. The place is full of lesbians. You, know. <laughs> you generally got the brush off most of the evening. Uh, occasionally, one would be drunk enough to say, "Oh, take me number." Then you phoned up on the Wednesday night, not the Tuesday. Too keen. <laughs> this was before the mobile phone. People stayed in on the Wednesday. <laughs> Better phone call. Not Thursday. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Wednesday, phone her up, make arrangements for the next Saturday. Now nah, this is where the work starts, OK, right. Meet her up, a few drinks, then it's time to take her for a steak Diane. <laughs> a few Chinzanos. <laughs> if she wants a prawn cocktail, she fucking gets a prawn cocktail. <laughs> That'd be tight. We were still at the early stages of continental cuisine taking over, so, you know, if you could get to a woman to the point where you were actually buying for her prawns, <laughs> lettuce, <laughs> in a wine glass, <laughs> drizzled with the dressing from a thousand islands... <laughs> you blow her mind, don't you, really? Yeah? It's all over, party's over. So. <laughs> <laughs> During the meal, you'd start to tell us the various lies that men like to tell back then, tell you you're going to get a motor and stuff like that. <laughs> so you're going to join the fire service. It's all to get the vagina. <laughs> this is what you'd like to see. That was different as well back then. Big hairy beast back in the 80s. Once again, the young fellas don't realise we, what we put up with back then. This big angry, hairy... <laughs> Marxist feminist vagina. <laughs> that attitude, to be honest with you, back then, yeah, the vagina. <laughs> if you were lucky enough to get to look at it, you know, you pulled the jeans down, these great big knickers were there, and it was still busting out the sides. <laughs> this big hairy vagina coming over the top of the knickers. It... <laughs> You'd start rolling it down, and it started coming out, you <laughs> Like. It's like it was sad. Who are you looking at? Who are you looking at? Don't stare at me. I'm a vagina. <laughs> so the meal's been had. The chatting's. It's time to close in now. Like I said, I was a proper international player back then. I had a bedsitter flat in the East End of London, private. Not 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 council. No, pro <laughs> pro privately rented bed sitter in the East End, kitted out for love of all the latest gear of the international player. Right. Take her back. It's time to do a bit of showing off. Here we go. Walk her in. Sit her down on the futon. <laughs> She's half in bed already. <laughs> She doesn't realise that in all two hours that could be a double bed. <laughs> some gaffer tape and some spanners, I'd sort of something out of it. Time to set the mood, go over to my stereo stacker system. It's got a built-in graphic equaliser. Slip into the cassette deck. Now that's what I call music. <laughs> two. Now, when Luther Vandross comes on, I'll be making me move. <laughs> now it's time to close the deal, right? So I'm going to show you something that normally closes the deal. It's time for the international player to start putting the uniform. I would slip off to the kitchenette area. 
which is curtained off. Like I said, it wasn't a shithole. And, uh... <laughs> Careful, ladies, careful. <laughs> I've come back into the main area. I've changed in to my shiny black kimono. It's a cotton mix. <laughs> Silk ones are a bit exy. She's checking it out. I've kept my jeans on. I'm not a monster. I turn around at the optimum moment to reveal the dragon. <laughs> As we know, women love a dragon. <laughs> I come back with a nice chilled bottle of Blue Nun. <laughs> We're not drinking cheap shit. <laughs> We're making love. <laughs> what do you reckon, girls? Can you... See? Look and learn, lads. Look and learn. 